the universe. It's the only home we've ever known. Thanks to its intrinsic physical laws, the known constants of nature, and the heavy metal spewing fireballs, known as supernovae, we are little tiny beings held fast in a spinning ball of rock in a distant corner of space and time. Doesn't it seem a little rude not to know much about the universe itself? For instance, if we could look at it from outside, what would we see? A vast blackness, a sea of bubbles, a snow globe, a rat maze, a marble in the hands of a larger dimensional alien, or some other prog rock album cover? Well, as it turns out, the answer is both simpler and weirder than all of those options. What does the universe look like is a question we love to guess at as a species and make up all kinds of nonsense. Hindu texts describe the universe as a cosmic egg. The Jains believed it was human shaped. The Greek Stoics saw the universe as a single island floating in an otherwise infinite void, while Aristotle believed it was made up of a finite series of concentric spheres, or perhaps it's just turtles all the way down. Thanks to the mathematical genius of Einstein, cosmologists can actually test out the validity of various models that describe the universe's shape, turtles, mazes, and otherwise. Now, there are three main flavors that scientists consider. Positively curved, negatively curved, and flat. Now, we know it exists in at least four dimensions, so any of the shapes we are about to describe are bordering on Lovecraftian madness geometry. So fire up your madness abacus. Ya ya, Cthulhu Fatagan. A positively curved universe would look somewhat like a four dimensional sphere. This type of universe would be finite in shape, but with no discernible edge. In fact, two distant particles traveling in two straight lines would actually intersect before ending back up where they started. You can try this at home. Grab a balloon, draw a straight line with a sharpie. Your line eventually meets its starting point. A second line, starting on the opposite side of the balloon, will do the same thing, and it will cross your first line before meeting itself again. So this type of universe, conveniently easy to imagine in three dimensions, would only arise if the cosmos contained a certain large amount of energy. To be positively curved or closed, the universe would first have to stop expanding, something that would only happen if the cosmos housed enough energy to give gravity the leading edge. Present cosmological observations suggest that the universe should expand forever. So for now, we're just going to toss out the easy to imagine scenario. A negatively curved universe would look like a four dimensional saddle, open, without boundaries in space or time. It would contain too little energy to ever stop expanding. Here, two particles traveling on straight paths would never meet. In fact, they would continuously diverge, getting further and further away from each other as infinite time spiraled on. So if the universe is found to contain a Goldilocks specific critical amount of energy teetering perilously between the extremes, its expansion will halt after an infinite amount of time. This type of universe is called a flat universe. Particles in a flat cosmos continue on their merry way in parallel, straight paths, never to meet, but never to diverge either. Sphere, saddle, flat plane, those are pretty easy to picture. There are other options too, like a soccer ball, a donut, or a trumpet. Now a soccer ball would look like a spherical universe, but one with a very particular signature, a sort of hall of mirrors imprinted on the cosmic microwave background. The donut is technically a flat universe, but one that is connected in multiple places. Some scientists believe that large, warm, and cool spots in the CMB could actually be evidence for this kind of tasty topology. Lastly, we come to the trumpet. This is another way to visualize a negatively curved cosmos, like a saddle curled into a long tube, with one very flared end and one very narrow end. And someone in the narrow end would find their cosmos to be so cramped it only had two dimensions. Meanwhile, someone in the flared end could only travel so far before they found themselves inexplicably turned around and flying the other way. So which is it? Is our universe an orange or a bagel? Is it Pringles, a cheese slice, brass or woodwind? 
scientists haven't ruled out the more wacky, negatively curved suggestions such as the saddle or the trumpet. The haters are going to argue that we'll never know what the true shape of our universe is. And those people are no fun, and they're just obstructionists. Seriously, let's help you get some better friends. Based on the most recent Planck data released in February 2015, our universe is most likely flat. Infinitely finite, not curved, even a little bit, with an exact critical amount of energy supplied by dark matter and dark energy. I know, this gets a little confusing and meanders right up to the border of nap time, but here's what I'm hoping you'll take away from all of this. It's amazing. Not only can we make guesses at what our incredible universe looks like, but that there's clever people working tirelessly to help us figure that out. It's one of the things that makes me happiest about talking every week about space and astronomy, and I can't wait to see what's next. So what do you think? Is a flat universe too boring for your taste? What shape would you like the universe to be, given the wide array of options? Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Fred Benzella, Todd Sanders, and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. Sorry. Like a bug in my mustache. Your bug stash? My bug stash, yeah.